Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Divine Journey 2. Alright, so here we are today in episode 11. Uh, I've done some things off camera, not too much. Uh, I've, I've tweaked some things. As you see up here, we have our cold coke drawer. It is currently holding 11 stacks of cold coke. I went a little overboard in coal farming. Uh, I'll get to that in room in a minute. Also made the XP tank a little bit bigger. All right, so nothing new in here, really. But if we come over here, you'll see that we have now four blast, uh, four, co four cold coke ovens. Additionally, we have a little tank of creosote here. I believe it's only one deep. Yeah, so it's one deep, two wide, and however many blocks long. But uh, we've got quite a bit of creosote to go to use, so you might have to start using that. Yeah, so... I don't know. I've been told to not use cold coke for the blast brick. I've been told to use charcoal. I don't know. Point is, though, I have about two, two and a half stacks of steel now. And as, you know, a butt ton of cold coke, as it were. Uh, I did make a hatchet, I think, off camera after, like, so long. Because, you know, it's good to chop down trees like this. Uh, okay, so I also went and explored a little bit to get, I think, only a few things. Uh, sugar cane, lily, lily, lily pads, and I think that was it. How is the sugar cane, by the way? Yeah, it's okay, time to harvest it. So, let me just break this real quick. All right, so we got quite a bit of sugar cane now. Just gonna replant what I broke too much of. Okay, we're oh, there we go. All right, so we oh, you know I could put two more here. So we got a lot of sugar. I don't think we need that much right now, but I could be wrong. What I want to do is I want to get into roots. I believe it was. Oh, we still need to get. Oh yeah, this the hell uh, chapter or the another the another chapter was unlocked. Uh, I don't know if I addressed it on camera, but yeah, the, ha the nether was blocked by a progression chapter somewhere in the early chapters. I went into the nether just because I was curious about if it worked yet or not. And But uh, to that note, we were going to have to go and do some collecting of stuff in the nether. And it looks like eventually we're going to go to the Twilight Forest, just from what I can recognize here. Uh, yeah, so mechanism is going to be blocked by, oh, where was it? I saw it. Wait, what was the, uh, requires into mechanism? Oh, here it is. It's in the fourth chapter and it requires coming down here. So, it looks like we're going to have to get into refineries, I think that's what it, that one is. That's a refinery. That's oil or fuel or whatever. Okay, so that's still a little bit ways away. What I want to do is make uh, the Dugonias here because there are some materials here that I need to learn about that are going to be used in the spells. So, let's see. The Dugonia. So we got the moss, lapis, petals, sugar cane block, or sugar block, and a lily pad. Okay. So let's see. Let me put away some stuff that I don't want on my... That. Okay. Already forgotten the other parts. Oops. What the hell? Oh, petals and lily pad. Right, okay. Lily pad. There we go. I don't want that. Uh, don't need that. Petals. Uh, ah, there we go. I know I have more than that, but I'm not sure where the other parts went. I'll let those get organized soon. Okay, so. Oh, forgot one thing. I come back to the table here. I really need to get craft tables. Okay. 
So come back to, I believe it was the pestle. No, it's the pyre. Okay, that was close. Okay, so one, two. Okay, so there's all of the things. Uh, the flint and steel. Did I put that away? There we go. All right. Light her up. All right, so that's going to craft. Take a few seconds. Sea cow's delight. Okay. So that's going to be used for something, I'm sure. But I I know that we can plant this, but I don't have the means to make the elemental soil yet. So let's keep moving forward. Um, I th think this is where the soil is. So why don't we come down here too? Okay, so... The Grove Stone. That's going to be Charred Stone, Eagle Bone, and Buffalo Tooth. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Eagle Bone. And let's see. Buffalo Tooth. Let me put these away. I don't need this on my person. That. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh, I really missed AE2. Alright, so charred stone. What was that again? Okay, so stone, moss, and bark. Okay. I... Oh, here we go. Charred stone. I will try to make a <clears throat> sorting system, or, or a sorting... Not system so much as it is just... A bunch of chests that I will mark with signs or what have you. Okay. So we have this thing. Uh, the growth stone will allow nearby fey crafters and runic crafters to function. Now, by default, the growth stone spawn grass and flowers around them constantly, but this is reported to have significant negative effects on... Oh, okay. Uh, I think I want to go with string, honestly. Okay. Make a Fey Crafter. This is another central crafting mechanic in Roots. To use it, however, you'll need to have at least one imbued grove. Imbued grove? In the vicinity. To imbue a grove stone, perform the grove supplication ritual. To use this crafting altar. Okay. Um, where... Is that book? I don't know if anyone knows. But there was that one book. The as something. What the hell is that? The uh. I don't know what it was called. But it was the book that we used to absorb our totem pe Okay, I saw it in there. Uh, hold on. Book. Uh, I don't see it immediately. Home. Uh, I don't know. Okay, um, give me a second. I'm going to pause here. I'm going to look for something so I don't waste time. Okay, we're back. So, okay, so this was the book I meant. The Akashic Tome. Right now, it's, like, set to one book. I don't know if I need to make, like, a second of these books to absorb another book and then, like, combine, th uh, this to- uh, to combine- hold on. To combine the two tomes together to make one tome, that would be kind of annoying. But regardless, uh, here is the Magic of the Wilds book. I didn't have it. I thought I did. But regardless, I just crafted it. It's a piece of wood and a wild root. Okay. 
So, oh goodness. Um, oh boy. Where? Okay, first off, what was the name of the uh, ritual I needed to do? The Grove Supplication. Okay. So let's see. Automation spells. Grove Ritual. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Grove Supplication. Okay, supplicates and entreats whatever energy of the Fey world that still lingers in this world to a Grove Stone. Okay. Once angered, the stone will light up and become animated, as well as producing leaf particles, some of which will travel to nearby fake crafters. Maybe I should be having grass in that other room. Okay, is a tier one ritual a grove stone is required? Okay. Okay, so I guess it looks like we're going to have to have the pyre a block apart or two blocks away. Uh, this ritual was searched for grove stones within an area of 15. Well, what the hell? What the hell? That's interesting. Okay. Um... Okay, so I guess I just have to put these ingredients on the pyre and have the grove stone nearby. Okay, I think I get what's going on here. Um, okay, let me just take this and that and that. Okay, come back to that. I did it last time. Ah, hold on. So that put that there and put that there. Clear blocks marked in red. Oh. So Hello? Oh, that was weird. Okay. I don't see any blocks marked in red. Oh, there we go. Okay. That gonna be fine then? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so what did I need again? notepad going on here so I can just uh, write this all down okay so we're gonna need moss stone eagle feather I know I have that red cedar sapling root of the fallen and petals okay put the buffalo tooth away I know I have the eagle here I know for the fallen root, I'm going to have to make, uh, with the Baycock bow. What's it called again? The root. There it is. No. No. Root of the fallen. Wild root. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go break grass or something. Meanwhile, there's the bow. I'm gonna put this away. I don't need that for now. Okay, uh, let's go see if we can't quickly get some wild root.
There we go. So I do like that I can just vein mine, uh, grasp my hand. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I did plant some hemp. So we're getting um, that going on. What is this used for again? Okay, so it's going to be a lot. Oh, string is a possibility. But it looks like it's going to be used a lot for immersive engineering. Maybe. I know there was a quest for this. That's why I uh, went and planted it. In fact, we come back. Was there a quest for it? I thought there was. Immerse oh, there it is, yeah. Bone meal. I recommend using roots elemental soils. Okay. Well, we're still working on the uh, roots part of that. Right. Okay, so I have the bow. I have a earth root. So there's that. Let's get rid of some seeds that we don't need in our hand right now. What was the list again? Moss stone, eagle feather. I imagine I should be able to wait. Okay. I got an idea. Tara. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. hold on. Where did my chisel get off to? Red cedar sapling. Oh, it's in here, apparently. There it is. Okay, so let me try this. Um, crap. Uh, give me a second here. Dent. Okay. Okay, so put that down, mine that up, put that down. Okay, so moss stone, good. So eagle feather, petals. I think that's everything here. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five items, okay. So we got everything here. This hopefully should work. Okay, so let me just kind of run through the ritual here. Uh, okay, once anchored, the stone will light up and become animated. Ritual lasts six seconds of an inactive growth stone is not found in a... Okay, I don't think we need anything gr dirt wise. But I am kind of paranoid. I should have some more dirt here somewhere. There we go. Okay, so I might have to cut in order to get the grass in here. I should have, oh, I did have bone meal. Let me go and see if I can't pick that stuff up. Uh, let's see. Bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. I don't see anything right away. I'll just grab some bones. Okay, I didn't do anything. Okay, 
So that won't do what I thought it would. I don't have a watering can either. You know what? Let's just go for it. We'll see what happens if, if this doesn't work. Oh, well. Uh, I put away the moss stone. Gosh dang it. Okay. Back to this. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so I think we're good here. Hey, okay, good, it worked. Didn't break. Sweet. In the meantime, okay, so the grass is now spreading. So I'm just going to put this down here. That should now spread in, and we shouldn't have any troubles with mobs or anything. Okay. Back to the quest. So we got that done. So now we need the Fey Crafter. Okay. Oh, good grief. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. We just need Amethyst, which now I kind of regret not mining a lot of. Okay, here's seven. Am, uh... All right, well, you know what? I'm uh, probably gonna have to go mining. I'm just trying to think of where to put all this stuff. Um, I'm also thinking that, yes, I will, of course, be making uh, dedicated chests for materials I'll probably be putting like um, well depending on how my rooms get set up for mods and such I will be putting chests in that room to be dedicated to uh, materials until I have a better means of crafting or storage what hate those things Okay, so I've been doing a lot of mining down here, as it, as it as it were. I haven't so much been in my mine lately. You know, the one that I talked about last episode, or an episode two ago. Probably should. Real quick, though. Amethyst or Overworld. Okay, so it's basically diamond level. Um, oh, that's oh, Garnet. Damn it. One sec. Looking for a bright purple, not a faded purple. Oh, um. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I was going to put lapis on my pickaxe. I never got around to doing that. Oh, here we go. Here's some amethyst. Okay, it's a nine. Yeah, it would probably be to my benefit to get Lapis on the uh, pickaxe soon. That being said, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, oh, hold on. Okay. Uh, I always want to try and quickly find five more. But if I don't find five soon or within the next or... I will probably cut. Oh, here we go. Okay, shit. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot I had torches on me. Actually, we got some time. I could probably just uh keep searching, and then my goal will be to end the episode off with having made the Fey Crafter. Oh, nope, that's Garnet, isn't it? Why can't I place torch? Oh, gosh dang it. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, gosh dang it. Come on. Give me more than one, please. Oh, diamonds. I'll take those. Gladly. Uh, more lapis. Oh, that's probably going to be one stock again. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we can go home. Um, first things first, though, before I forget. Okay, so we're going to have luck one on there. Pretty sure that's all we're... Oh, it can go... F okay, so... Okay, luck. Unlike... Or no. Luck can go all the way up to 180. And I think that's luck 3. I thought for a second that each new rank of luck would take a modifier. But that is not the case, clearly. Okay. Got some all out of this. So I'll just take a little bit of... Nah, it won't be, it won't be a big bother right now. Okay, so back to what I was doing. So let's get this. We need saplings of some sorts. Sapling, 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 sapling. That will do. So, Fay Crafter. Or, yeah, Fay Crafter. So, petals and charred stone. Don't have any more charred stone, so I gotta make some more. There we go. Um, okay, now I'm gonna need some bark. And some moss stone. There we go. Okay, so let's go back to our pyre. One, two, three. All right. Two, three, boom. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get some charred stone. All right, we just need a three. I think I put the petals away, so I need to go grab them. Okay. I uh, also want to uh, quickly just point out that uh, a few of you have been giving me tips over the YouTube comments about the um, totemic ritual stuff such I appreciate that uh, when we have to do more totemic stuff I'm sure I will keep that in mind uh, what am I doing I don't need to craft a pyre so yeah like uh, I was told there are visual cues and such that tell you when and how you're doing the ritual right and there we go, the Fae Crafter. Yet another crafting altar. Okay, so where should this go? The Fae Crafter. The Fae Crafter was created as a device to channel energy into the construction of powerful objects. However, it does not say if it was created before or after the Grove Stone, but one is needed for it to function. The Grove Stone must be with, placed within 10 blocks of the Crafter. And it must also be activated using the, oh goodness, okay. So I'm probably gonna put it like, I don't know, I guess right here. Okay, so that's a question. A lot of stuff here. Um, okay. Um, can I get back to like the main? Okay, so rituals, growth, supplication. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to do this again. But uh, as it were, we are actually at the end of this episode. So let me just grab... Ooh, compacting drawers. Nice. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. 
Oh, I think I want to get. Uh, I don't know. I guess the concealment key. All right, so we got compact in drawers. That's pretty cool. Other than that, however. Oh, endivores. Oh, I'm sure we're going to be needing this for something. Oh, my goodness. So, we're going to need more Dugonias. That's a thing. And a mortar. Oh, we. Oh, we got a lot of these mods to look into. Uh, we're going to be busy for a while, aren't we? A lot of stuff to learn. Any case, uh, that's going to be all for me for now. I will see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.